Hey guys, I'm Joe here, and I'm going to teach you, and I'm from Let's Learn and Learn 2.0, and I'm going to teach you long division. So, now, go ahead, go on ahead and make that, and now let's get a pencil tool. Let's get a turn of thickness, just a little bit. It's fine, actually. And then, I'm going to write 20, this is a really easy, by the way, 24. Divided by, hmm, what should I do? Let's do 7. And then, so first you're gonna, you need to know your times tables for this. So, what, what's 7 times 2 is 14, and 7 times 3 is 21. And if we add one more, 7 times 4 is going to be 28, and that's too much. So, 7 times 3 is 21. So you have to write the 3 at the top and we have to write 21 at the bottom. So now we subtract them. So 4 minus 1 is 3. 2 minus 2 is 0. And why put the line down? It's going to make an R. And this is a remainder. So the remainder is 3. So whatever is left at the bottom, it's the remainder. So the answer is 3, remainder 3. So there you go. And I'm going to do one more. It's going to be a bit harder, just a bit, not by too much, and let's do this. So, let's go 64 divided by, how about 9? So, you need to do the 9 times table. So, 9 times anything, like, so... Actually, I'm not going to do 9. I'm going to do 5. So, five, what does it equal? So, 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. And then, 5 times 3, 15. 5 times 4, 20. 5 times 5, 25. 5 times 6, 30. And then, you're going to do it again. So, 5 times 6, we got 30. And then, do it again. So, that's 12. 12 equals 60. So it doesn't go 5 times 12 is 60. And it doesn't go higher than that because if we add another 5, it's going to be 65. So now we put the 12 over here. I'll write 60 down here. And again, remainder for the R. And we minus them. So 4 stays. And zero. so remainder is. Four. Remainder. And the remainder is four. So remainder is four. There we go. And I'm gonna do one more and then we're gonna go ahead up. Go um, yeah, okay. I'm done. Yeah. So hope you guys learned something and see ya.